Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to hook up this eight and a half foot fish Fisher V plow. And it's supposed to be a minute mount, but I've only hooked it up maybe three times since I bought it. And this lever here holds these pins um, out. And you have to get your your headgear on the truck into these slots, and that it seems like that's kind of the pain in the butt. It's getting that in there and then getting it up into place, but um, it has gotten easier um, each time I've done it. But I think it's all how you kind of have it set up. There's actually I didn't put anything underneath the. Uh, stand when i took it off last time so it's icy underneath so this whole headgear kind of pivots on that stand and it's um like i said icy so it's slipping underneath so i'm gonna probably put my headlamp on or not my headlamp but my head strap for the for the gopro uh for when i hook it up but uh i'll be right back all right i got my head strap on now we'll see if we can get hooked up here. I think it's a diesel. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're close. I should be able to just uh, drive ahead. Actually, I'm going to hook. There's a, each plug is different. So that one goes there. I don't know. And this other one will go right here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm a little off crooked right here lined up with the headgear but when I drive ahead it should push it straight too so there that was a little rough but uh, that did the trick that was what I needed to do. So now what you do is, uh, you can see it tripped the blade. That's on a spring and shot a bunch of dirt forward. But this lever right here, I hope you can see that, but you can see it, it releases those springs right there. And then, should, well, everything's ice, but this is the only thing I don't like about it is you gotta, Actually, I use this. You take this and you go there. So they didn't quite click in all the way. They might be a little dry, but you can see they're in the hole. See? That pin's in there now. And this one, it's still not quite lined up. I think maybe I gotta, I gotta push it forward a little bit, I guess. I haven't, um, I haven't put this plow on enough yet to really uh, get all the tricks. And I, it's not really that difficult, but it's uh, just uh, figuring it out. 
there we go. It's just, if you don't have everything lined up just right for those pins to go in, that's the only thing that makes this a uh, pain. And you don't want to make the mistake either of not pulling up your stand. I did that, I think I did that the second, second storm. And this is also, you want to watch too, is that this is what holds your stand, but also it locks your handle so that this can't pop out. It, 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 I don't know if it would, but if this ever popped out and pulled those pins out, the whole plow could just fall off if you were, you know, banging into a snow, you know, plowing into a snow bank and, and uh, backing up, which wouldn't be good, so. Uh, she's all set up um, That's how you put this plow on I'm not the smoothest like I said, it's probably only the third or fourth time I've hooked this plow up. I Think once you get used to it, it it probably is really close to a minute mount plow, but you know, that's their um, That's certainly their uh, You know their buying ad for well all these new plows are are um, Supposed to be minute mounts. I like it you know, it's got the, it's got the real tall sides on it, kind of like a, a scoop or a, a wing on a big, like a state plow truck or something, but this actually does work really well. So there you are. Subscribe, like, share, leave any comments if you want to. We will uh, talk to you later. Okay, so there really wasn't that much snow to plow, but um, I just wanted to try out. I had a new suction cup mount that I picked up today. It actually works pretty good, so that's pretty cool. Um, I mainly put the plow on because um, it's supposed to rain here today. We got a little bit of snow this morning, um, but um, it rain. it's supposed to rain and get warm. But up north where our logging job is, 
Uh, they're supposed to get like three to five inches, which isn't a whole lot, but um, uh, there's some pretty good hills in there. There's there's uh, one long hill that's about a 15% grade, which doesn't sound like much, but that's a pretty good hill for a truck. And uh, he was running four triples, uh, which is basically on a tractor and trailer. It's a uh, it's chains. Uh, it's a set of chains that totally chain up every tire on the tractor and trailer on the drive. So you have chains that cover eight tires, and and they lock those in. And even with all those chains on, he was still having a little bit of trouble making the hill. So um, it's very important to keep it scraped down because um, that could be a pretty dangerous to have a big tractor trailer get out of control. So. Um, that's why I'm hooking that up and I actually I went up yesterday I didn't have them but I ordered a set of heavy duty chains to go on my truck because we're supposed to get more snow in the middle of the week and I won't be able to plow that with my pickup I don't even think I'll be able to get up over the hill if we get any amount of snow with chains without plowing so I am just making sure that I have everything I need uh, for a main winter and to make sure trucks can get in and out and haul wood to the mill. So, anyways, that'll conclude this. And uh, any questions or anything, um, comments, I'd be glad to hear them. And uh, I'm going to make another video when I get those chains. And maybe when there's a little more snow to plow. That wasn't very impressive, uh, two or three inches of snow. But uh, I just thought I'd throw it out there. So, we'll catch you later. See ya.